Hey, this is Brian from the Trello team. Today we are going to take a peek at the best app ever board that Misty River Software created to keep track of their new app. As you can see, this board is made up of lists that represent a workflow. Each list has cards on it. A card is a unit that represents a task and can hold a variety of information for that task. I can create a new task for this board by adding a card and adding a title to it. Click the card to open up the card back where you can add more information to it. All aspects of the card can be edited on the card back. For instance, I can change the title of my card to make it a little more informative. I will also add a description to the card to provide more details on what this card is all about. Since this task has a few layers to it, I'll add a checklist to the card to create subtasks or steps. These are each represented as checklist items. I will then add a few members of my team to this card to assign them the task. Since Ben and Julie are fluent in these languages, I will add them. When board members are added to a card, they will receive a notification both within Trello and by email. Since we are on a deadline for this feature, I am going to add a due date to the card so that everyone knows this needs to get done before the beta version ships. Adding labels to your cards is a great way to add visual information for quick reference. Plus, you can filter your board by labels, which I will demonstrate later in the video. Commenting on cards is a convenient way to keep the conversation about a task centrally located. At mention a board member in a comment, and they will receive a notification. Also, since I want to stay on top of the progress of this card, I'm going to subscribe to it. This way, I will receive notifications for any actions that occur on the card. Oh, it looks like I forgot to add an important language for our localization feature. Better add to the card. As a task progresses from start to finish, cards can be moved across lists by clicking and dragging them to a different list. Of course, not all lists have to be a part of a workflow. Lists can act as repositories for ideas, documents, and resources. Now we are going to take a look at the board's sidebar. The members section of the sidebar displays all of the board members. The members with a blue icon on their avatar are the board admins, and they can set permissions for the board. I can add new members to my board by clicking the Add Members button, and then searching for them by either their username or email address. If I want to add someone to a board that is not a member of Trello, I can enter their email address and an invitation to sign up and collaborate on the board will be sent by email. Also, to make things easier, if your board is a part of an organization, organization members will be suggested as potential board members. It's easy to add members to cards by dragging their avatar from the members section and dropping it onto a card. Next. The activity feed for the board shows all of the actions that have occurred on the board since the board was created. Finally, the board's menu is where you can find all of the board level settings and features. Board admins can set permissions for the board in additional settings. Most of these features are self-explanatory, but I want to quickly go over some of the more interesting and useful ones. Power-ups are board level features that you can enable to provide extra functionality on your board, such as a calendar view and card voting. Stickers are a fun way to add visual information to a card, whether it is a status update or just to add a little humor. As mentioned earlier, card filters allow you to focus on cards on a board by a combination of their labels, members, due dates, or keywords. Instead of deleting cards and lists, they are archived so that they can easily be referenced or returned to your board at any point in the future. Don't worry about filling up your archive, it's practically limitless. It's also possible to create new cards by email. Each board member has a unique email address associated with a board that will let them create new cards on that board. Well, that sums up our basic board overview. Of course, since Trello is free, the best way to get to know Trello is to try it out for yourself. Sign up at Trello.com. And if you have any questions, check out our help site at help.trello.com.